Right, folks, I've come to Leicester today, again, as Leicester's my area. Uh, I'm on the Narborough Road. Uh, I've come to Big John's. Um, he does burgers and pizzas and all that kind of thing. Um, I think it's a bit... Uh, it's There's a couple of chains. I don't think it's massive. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. I've read some of the reviews. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. So I'm just going in here to see what's happening on the old 50-50 thing, to be fair. I was going to record this outside, but there's somebody playing music and I don't want to get copyrighted. Okie dokie. Follow me. Morning. Uh, right, folks, as you've seen from the beginning of this video, if I've got it all together and sodding well edited it all right, you'll see that I've been to a place called Big John's on the Narber Road in Leicester. Um, it's a neighbourhood takeaway. They were very quick. I was in there less than five minutes. So they've got an awful lot of chicken already fried up, and they'd only been open, what time is it? They've been open, what, 40 minutes? So we'll see. Um, got some cutlery. I thought June, eh? One of them. June likes all this kind of tea stuff. She likes a char. I make her a char latte sometimes. I call it foreplay. She calls it bagger off. You're not having any. So what I've done, um, I've ordered six chicken wings. I've ordered one piece of chicken. I've ordered fries. I'll tell you what. It's all put together well. So what we got in here? So we got six chicken wings. Oh, I've just seen a crash on the bloody Abbey Lane. Oh, a Merc and a Honda. Only a little Honda, but the Merc's come off terribly. I've got one piece of chicken that looks like it's been bubble chicken, uh, not bubble chicken, but, uh, you know. Chips. They don't like fish and chip, chip, chips, but they do actually do fish and chips. And I've also gone for the double stack burger, um, which is here. So, June, throw me towel down somewhere. Here it is. I need my towel. I don't want it on my transit shirt, do I? Oh, no, I ain't going to put it on me. All right, so it's there. So, it looks a good beefy burger. Um, it's hot. Fucking hell, it's hot. It's a double stack. It's got cheese, cheese, lettuce, tomato, red onion, lettuce. Mm. What do you think, folks? I've seen better. But it don't look too bad. I think it was $3.99 or something. It weren't that expensive. So uh, let's tuck in part one. Do 
do you know what, folks? Now, I had some knobhead on here the other day trolling me, abusing me. I thought you were upsetting me. So I blocked him. And um, he says, I always give a positive review. Now, it's not about giving a negative review, is it? It's about, you know, this is somebody's living. This is somebody's livelihood. I don't want to go in there and say, you're yeah, shit. Now, but going back to this burger, this is not the best burger I've had. But it ain't bad, you know. It's been nicely put together. The cheese is really good. I think it's only normal thingy cheese, but it's all right, you know. Mm. This is, I, I can't remember what I've done with the receipt. Hold on. got a nice relish on it. This is the receipt. Right. The stack of meal with a can of Dr. Pepper was 4 99 So, what I'm saying is, folks, for five quid for this burger, well, the burger's not actually five quid, is it? This is bloody good value for money. They've got just the right amount of onion on it. I get a taste of onion, but you don't want to overpower it with onion because sometimes you lose the taste of the burger and the cheese. It's getting messy. And when you get a messy burger, that's always a good sign. So... So what I'm saying is, folks, I've been to the Hungry Hippo or the Happy Hippo or Warriors in Nottingham. I've had a couple of fat buns, spelt with a PH, and they're really good. But this, for five pound as a meal, is fucking excellent value. So. I think that's what I was trying to say. I wasn't trying to rubbish the burger. I think if I'd paid about seven and a half quid for this, I would have been disappointed. But for five pound, with chips, and it's a bloody good portion of chips, and a can of Dr Pepper, I mean, that's so misunderstood, isn't it? Mm. That was exceptional value. So, to Big John's on the Narber Road, good stuff that is, well done. Two good burgers, nice bit of bread with salad and chips and a can of lots of pepper for a fiver. You can't go wrong there. That is good stuff. Now, let's move on to these chicken wings. Now, it looks like it's got bubbly, bubbly coated chicken things, skin. Let's tuck in part two. I'm actually sitting on the Narborough Road, um, 
or not on it, or I'd get fucking killed. Uh, the big test goes. Just watching it. Once again. Not the best chicken wings I've had, but... £2.79 for six. That's bloody good value. That is really good value. So once again, Big John's, well done. Right, I'm just going to show you my view. Some bloke walking by on his phone. Air freshener. Ladbrokes. And up there is Narborough Road. Right, let's put you back with me. Thank you. Come back to me. So. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm very impressed with this so far. Yeah. Happy days. Not the biggest chicken wings you're going to see. But... Have you seen Hannibal? Right. The first one. When he's in that big cage and he puts Brody or whatever his name is up there. Crucifies him and he's got his bowels out. But well, how does he open that handcuff thing? Does he use a chicken bone or something? Or did he use pork chop? Because I'm sure he used... Uh, was it a bit of bone or was it a bit of pin off of, of her pen? Always intrigues me. Because the reason why I ask is... I was watching Austin Powers last night. And one of the coppers he killed him... Hannibal. And not Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs. It was him when um, Austin Powers is brought back to life and he's decomposed, de defrosted. You know what? That was fucking banging, that were. That was fucking banging. Now, moving on to the piece of chicken. Now that chicken looks a big piece of chicken, doesn't it? And it's got like the, the bubbly coated the bubbly coated um, thin on it. So let's tuck in part three. Hold on, I've got a burp. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, folks, that was bad manners, but I couldn't do anything to like. A lip up fatty and a lip up fatty, fatty re. Mmm. There's some fucking meat on that. Mm. That is fucking smart. That is banging. I've got to start you again. That is bloody banging. Oh shit, look at me fucking transit. Mmm. I'm impressed with this. This is really good. 
a lovely texture. Mm. Really, really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm impressed. Excuse me, I've got chicken fat. That was really, really good. So, just the chips. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Excuse me. Oh, fucking Dr. Pepper, it is understood. It makes you fucking burp. Oh, fucking hell. Right, so moving on to the chips. They just look like a standard chip. They're not your, your French fry chip. They're not the McDonald's chip or them just where they just buy bags of frozen chips. These look like a proper potato chip. Look at that. Let's tuck in part four. Fucked up in her. I should have put salt and vinegar on. And to have these kind of things, you need salt and vinegars. And now you're all going to start pointing in the bloody comments. You should have had some condiments in your van, Dave. And I agree. Shame I didn't put salt and vinegar on. Because they're good chips. They're better chips. The, the, the better chips like this. I don't, I don't particularly want French fries. I don't want skinny chips. I want a chip like that's that. Traditional English fucking chip if I wanted french fries I'd go to France I don't I want a fucking chip I want a proper fucking chip like that not that one not as well Look at that. See, you can't argue with that. A proper fucking chip. And that one. And that one. And that one. I like proper chips. I don't want fucking french fries. And do you know what else? They've left the fucking skins on. Is there no end to fucking Big John's neighbourhood food? He does pizzas, he does burgers, he does chicken burgers, kebabs, wraps, paninis. Well done, Big John. I'm trying to think of some joke about a toilet because going to the job. But I can't tie it in. Some old boy. Off in his fucking beam up. Well. 
I cannot literally fault this meal. It has been a pleasure to review. The girl behind the counter, she could do with just speaking up a little bit more, but she was pleasant, polite and helpful. The place looked fairly clean. Well, it did look clean. It was clean. It's a fucking clean restaurant. Clean takeaway. Well done. As I've said about the burger, value for money. You cannot, you cannot beat that value for money. The chicken, once again, value for money. Ten, oh, fuck, I've spat it again. £10.36 that lot cost me. You can't argue for £10.36 for that. Two drinks, chips, a big fuck off burger, one piece of chicken. One piece of chicken and six chicken wings for £10.36. You couldn't cook that fucker at home for that. All in recyclable boxes. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm impressed. So, I think there's about 11 of these uh, Big Johns around the country. Put in the comments down below, folks. Let me know what your Big John's like. Because this Big John here, he's all right, he is. There's nothing wrong with this big job. I don't know who did um, the review. Somebody fucking moaning. But I can't fault that. Right. Swig of Dr Pepper. And I'm back off home. Ladies.